Ever struggled with blurry, pixelated images from an AI image generator? Discover a free tool that can magically upscale and enhance those low resolution images into crisp, high quality designs perfect for print and digital projects. So I'm over here on ideogram.ai. This is an image generator. You can see right here, this is the prompt that I typed into the search bar. And this is the magic prompt. There's a cool little a feature back here called magic prompt. And it will actually, you know, take, take my simple prompt, which is still good. And then it will regenerate it into something else. It's an option that you can turn off and on. But let's say that we wanted to upscale this image because when we download it, so let me go ahead and hit the little three dots over here, hit download. Right. And then as I download that image, let me go here over here and pop it up. It's right here. Have the image right there. Right. It's 1024 by 1024. You can see the dimensions right there. OK, let me go ahead and click on it and get an idea of how it looks. So get an idea. Right. Then you can see the hand. It's not it's OK with these AI gem, image generators. You sometimes the hands are a little off, but let's let's zoom in. You can see how we zoom in. It starts to get pixelated. Right. And we're in about two thousand eight hundred and ten percent. See that. OK. Now what I'm going to do is close all this down and then I'm going to go ahead and use this free AI. So it's free AI image scaler. OK, we're just go ahead and select that image. Let me go ahead and bring that up right there. See select image, the image that we just got right there. That way, let me hover over it so you can see 1024 by 1024. Go ahead and upload that, all right? And you can choose between any of these personal preference, right? We'll just go ahead and do the ultra sharp for this example. And now you can actually, like, depending on how far you want to upscale it. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and just 4 exit, okay? Here we right, scale, 4 exit. Now you can set to where you want to put your, your uh, folder where you want it. So when it upscales it, right, you can put it to, like, whatever folder you want. So you can select whatever folder that you want to do right here. Come down to step four right here. You can say you just hit this little button. So we're going to go from 1024 by 1024 to 4096 by 4096. So you see that right there. Go ahead and hit the upscale. Now it's going to go ahead and generate. Give it a little bit of time. That's a little, little bit of time. Open up a nice little drink. All right. And the left is the, is the original. And then the right is the new. So we'll go ahead and use that same example. We'll go ahead and open that folder because it's saved right here. Here's that folder. Here's the new one right here. So we hover over it. Let me go ahead and click that out. Hover over it 4096 by 4096, right? We'll go ahead and hit that and then we'll pop it up. We went all the way to 2810. So we'll go ahead and zoom in and see if we still get that pixelated. You can see it's, a, it's looking better already. What out too far? What happened? 2000. Okay. okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now let's go ahead and zoom out of this one a bit. Okay. Let's do 310. So the images are, are different. Like when I open it, it's opening it differently. Right? So as I'm looking at this, let's get to this, this angle of this right here. Okay. Of like very similar to, and you're going to see right off the back. Okay. When we're looking at this, like the difference in the, in the quality of the image already. Okay. So based off of that, just looking at that we're zoomed in it's like 500 something but we zoom in here we're still zoomed in like you can see like 500 right 500 and 505 and over here it is 555 let's zoom out to 505 right there okay we're zoomed in here 505 you can see the difference in the quality right so there to the new one right and we zoom out a bit get it kind of get that same angle you can see that the the image is basically it's more enhanced better quality and that's what we're trying to do now think about it as if you do any type of print on demand if you're using this for any type of design if you have a business or you're trying to create a design for a business or you're just trying to create a design for a t-shirt or a book you can rinse and repeat the same process that i'm sharing with you right here for any of that okay especially if you're messing with around with a lot of like image generators, you know, like chat GPT or even like with the Dolly three, right? You messing with that, you that would work in here too as well. Uh, Ideogram.ai, that's worked really well, but this is a really cool free tool that you can use right here. They also too, they do have a batch upscale. Now, if I come over here and click over here, right? It will actually, it will go into the format, but I mainly create a lot of PNG files, okay? so. Mainly a lot of my PNG files are, are, are just PNGs, okay? Because I do a lot of t-shirt design, like on Amazon Merch On Demand. Now, you can come over here and, you know, select the image and upload it. And, or you can select your folder and then you can do like a batch upload in a folder, okay? So, which is pretty cool too as well. And you can, same thing, upscale, you know, you can see, you can upscale and all that stuff right there. I haven't really tested this point out, but I'm just using single images at this time and point right now. Now, if you come over here to the website, upscale.org, Okay, you can go ahead and download it. It's a free download and it pops up this little icon right here and download it and 
you're able to use it onto your desktop so it's free and you can download it locally so you can you don't have to be connected to any type of internet if you're not connected to the internet you can just do everything from you know your local drive or your your offline dashboard if you want to learn how to come up with really awesome prompt ideas for these ai image generators watch this video right here next peace out